Today we're looking at the first cities in history. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer World History. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com where you'll find more resources that go with many of the Bell Ringer videos. Today, over half of the world's population lives in cities or urban areas, with some of the largest cities including Tokyo, Japan, and Delhi, India, having populations over 30 million. But where did the first cities in human history appear and begin to grow? To answer this question, we have to look to ancient Mesopotamia, in an area sometimes referred to as the Fertile Crescent or Cradle of Civilization. In this region, which is an area of land between the Tigris and Euphrates River in the present-day Middle East, archaeologists and historians have found evidence of some of the world's earliest settlements. Around 11 to 10,000 BC, an agricultural revolution took place in which people began to plant crops and domesticate animals. Instead of roaming or leading a nomadic lifestyle looking for food, ancient people began to settle down in one place and grow and harvest crops. And to learn more about this agricultural revolution, take a look at my other video devoted strictly to that topic. As these early people began to grow more crops, they began to develop a surplus of food, and by around 7500 BC, cities or towns began to take shape. These first cities grew in an area known as Sumer at the southern end of Mesopotamia and included cities such as Ur, Eridu, and Uruk. Today we think of major cities having millions of people living in them, but these early cities were much smaller with only a few thousand residents. Although Ur, the largest of these city-states in Sumer, is believed to have had a population of over 60,000 by around 2000 BC. Another significant difference between cities of today and those ancient cities in Mesopotamia is that these were city-states. And what I mean by a city-state is it was the city and the surrounding land around it that basically created their own little country with their own individual government and military force. Many of these early city-states fought with each other for control of land. Military leaders became the rulers of these city-states, and soon a hereditary system emerged in which control of the city-states was passed from one generation of rulers to the next within the same family. These cities became centers of trade as people from all over the region were drawn to these areas with more population to trade their goods. Traders sailed up and down the Tigris and Euphrates and even crossed open deserts to bring their goods to these early markets. You might wonder too, how did they build these cities in an area of the world with few resources such as stone or wood? The ancient Sumerians developed a method of making bricks by mixing together water, clay, and dirt and then molding them into bricks that could be used to build structures. Many of these early cities in Mesopotamia were built around pyramid-shaped temples at the center of the community known as ziggurats. Ziggurats were centers of worship for ancient Mesopotamians and at their top was a shrine built for the individual god of that city-state. Here, ancient people would offer sacrifices to their gods and perform religious ceremonies. The ziggurats also served as what you might call a city hall, as citizens would look to these temples for government decisions. Furthermore, the priests and religious leaders would generally keep records of the surplus of food, so the harvest from each city-state were many times stored close by. The ziggurat was generally the tallest structure in the city, with many reaching as tall as 150 feet in the air. Many of these city-states also were surrounded by walls, which protected the city from invasion. The ancient city of Nineveh was said to have had a wall surrounding it that spanned over six miles long and had 15 gates to control people coming in and out of the city. Unlike cities today that are laid out in a grid pattern with city blocks, these early cities really had no plans, so they were made up of a series of winding streets and alleyways. Eventually, the Akkadians from northern Mesopotamia, led by Sargon of Akkad, would conquer these early city-states and establish one of the first empires in world history uniting the city-states under one ruler. But from these simple origins, the role of cities in civilization was established and still carries on to this day. So with that, hopefully you learned something, and thanks for watching.